gotcha. just disappeared. It, it really be like that sometimes. Speaking of top tier Zoe and top tier players, we're going to get Losers Quarters coming in, Atomic versus Renegade. Two players who are no strangers to you know to the stage, right, to the top eight stage of the regional. Mm -hmm. Renegade and Atomic, this is actually a run back from uh, last heartbeat. They might have played, you know, at some point in between then and now. Right. But this was Loser's Finals at the last heartbeat, which is okay. crazy to think about that this is for his place. Fifth place, yeah, yeah. A couple, couple rounds short this time around. Uh, usually we've seen two. Uh, this is definitely one of uh, one of the more interesting matchups, uh, at least between two top tiers that, that I like to think. There, there can be a, a, a lot of chicanery can go on uh, when these two when these two get the projectile games going. So. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, in terms of experience, we normally don't see we see Snake. We used to see Ronnie and Renegade a lot. Now it's kind of just Renegade, but you know we have some Snakes that are sort of inactive, right? Especially in the DFW area, we have Akito, we have Curry as well. Curry yeah, plays a it, lot of it, it's insane how like tech, like Texas was Snake country pre pre COVID. Like there yes. were there were so many like Avoid, uh, Grim Turtle was making a, yeah, a, a comeback and stuff like that. So you know, um, but now. Renegade's the only one out of them that still like it that is still kind of flying around. through yeah. and performing at this level, right? Uh, and especially in this matchup, this is kind of like the Texas Classic. If you don't know the Rob matchup, you're not going to get very far in the Texas bracket. No, not you know at all. You know what I mean? It finally gets an upgrade right there. I will say, though, that Renegade does have some local experience with Patoon San Antonio, mm -hmm. uh, rocking the Rob. And again, we talked about DFW Snakes potentially, you know, sort of inactive, but, you know, especially because Atomic, you know, Probably plays Wi-Fi also. Right. You have to know this matchup. Uh, yeah, too, the, the, these so. are matchups. These are matchups you have to know if you want to succeed at yes. regional level. At, and, and at any state, every every decent sized local scene is going to have a Rob. You know, every state has a good snake. You know, like it's, yes. it's just stuff you have to be be ready for. Um, yes. And unironically, this has been kind of a slobber knocker. Just literally both players just holding W against each other and mm -hmm. just holding forward and just trying to. Trying to outmatch the other person, so yeah, it, I, and, and that's I, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to be. Both these characters have crazy normals, they have crazy, uh, uh, crazy projectile game. Uh, anytime Renegade thinks he's in trouble, he's going to pull that grenade, uh, you know. And anytime Atomic thinks he's in trouble, we're going to see a fair, we're going to see a down tilt, they're scrapping on the ground, you yeah. know. These guys are just, it's like it's like you know, middle school, middle school, 7 a.m. in the in the in the boys' bathroom. There, we're, we're we're going in, we're just swinging, haymakers yeah. all around. Absolutely. <laughs> You, you took my, you, you took my, you took my girl, man. Time to throw hands. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. I, so yeah. It's, it's, time, it's time to get it going. Yeah, right. I mean, we say Atomic's got a pretty solidly. Oh, almost converts off the grenade into it in a up tilt the El Clasico. Yeah. Uh, for for Snake there, 100 damage, not not a lot in, in Snake's probably to make up. We'll see if he can close the gap here. Yeah. It, you know, this is this is not out of the realm of possibilities, but I will say one. I mean, that's a good way. Uh, that, yeah, that's a good way to close I'll, the stock out. <laughs> I was gonna say one arm rotor at the ledge. One grab, and, and that could be curtains, and that's exactly what happened. Atomic, you know, taking game one, you know, Renegade was behind, but not by much, right? And Snake is a character who can easily rack up damage, so, if, you know, if you're not careful, you're going to, you're going to eat a lot of damage from Snake. Yeah. You're going to blink, and you're at 70. So. Yeah, 100, 100 damage is not... Uh, it, it's not a you know uh, a monumental task for Snake to, to to get. Yeah, and you know Atomic, one of the one of the you know the new generation, the generational ten talents of Texas, right? You know, coming in post COVID and kind of just going in. You know, you probably expected to see Atomic in winners finals probably, but ended up getting upset by Fox, uh, DFW compatriot. So uh, we're gonna have to see Atomic kind of claw through to kind of you know earn the right to play Lima yet again, right? Because they play also all they also play all the time. So. I like the you know the different switch to, to small battlefield here you know same 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 familiarity but a little different. Yeah, absolutely. You know, same the same but different, right? Ta tag me in the Instagram photo. You know yeah, what same saying? but different. Same <laughs> but different. But so far, oh, gets the grenade. It's gonna pop. Yeah, lots of damage right here. And up tilt could potentially nice. do it. And you saw the tomahawk right there. Yeah, a little, just a little empty hop is all, all all you need to get the get the job done, man. Yeah, it's it's honestly been kind of nice to to see you know. You know, Renegade still keep it nice and competitive no matter what the score is. Gonna find the Ooh. back here though, right there. Very meaty. Be really careful if you're if you're Renegade. Yeah, I, yeah. Renegade was definitely like hitting the B button anytime uh, as this advantage was happening, and Atomic was like, "All right, thanks." You know, I'm gonna respond with a with an aerial every single time, and that back I close it out. Yeah, absolutely. I love these fade back bears too from Renegade. You know, kind of providing a wall of a hitbox, right? Especially retreating, so then you can kind of just land and reset the situation or you get the hit and then you push advantage so 
Uh, kind of like both op both both players kind of you know taking those those options and you know running with them for sure. Nikita right here though, yeah, yeah great use of the nair to kind of hit it and kind of get it out of the way. That's yeah, easy, easy way, especially if you've got just such a big box like that Rob nair to kind of dispel the Nikita at least for the time being. Doesn't straight kill it, but gives you enough time to get underneath it, get yourself back to ledge. Yeah, for sure. Oh my God, he's like, sorry. Yeah, get off that looking. platform. <laughs> he said, "Throw the hands up in the air and wave them like I you just know. don't There's care." There's too, too much root to be raised. Yeah, absolutely. The, the roof is the roof is raised so much that it's a, um, it's a vaulted ceiling now. Yeah, is what it is. yeah, absolutely. But right now, great. Oh my God, I these, love these tomahawks. Yeah, the, yeah. These these tomahawks have been straight uh, straight profit for Redding in the second game. Yeah, and great uses of usage of the air dodge as well. Especially after the Cypher, if you fastball air dodge, it, you're essentially invincible to get back to the ground. Just because, you know, he's fastballing so, he's going down so fast and he air dodges right through all the way to the ground. So, yeah. but Atomic doesn't care. Yeah, Atomic, uh, yeah, Atomic, Atomic kind of trapped him there, just cranked the down smash to, to get the stock in. Oh, the good reaction on the trip from the down tilt. That's the, that's the young blood reactions, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, that's the, I'm definitely under the age of 19, you know, reactions. The, yeah, yeah, the, ta the, the tablet kid reactions. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but fair. Did he air dodge at the same? I actually was wondering if. Fair yeah, broke I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell if it was like cipher armor or what. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So kind of, kind of a little bit interesting right there. But finds the up tilt. Kind of in the same situation we saw game one in, right? Having the last stock situation, but you know the lead is a little bit too insurmountable. We're oh, gonna yeah. have to see if he's gonna <laughs> bring it back. It's honestly good that he rolled. Or he landed behind him instead of in front, because then that would have been over. So. Oh yeah, that would have been straight gas. And there goes the back air. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a big move, brother. I've yeah. seen the frame data. They, yes. they, they just drew a, uh, a big ass circle and they said, close enough. <laughs> yeah, he, he was like directly above him. Mm -hmm. And like, he didn't like jump bear. He was like falling bear. And he was above him right. and still got hit. He was pulling away too. So, you know, he, even, if, even if Renegade got the shield up, I, he wasn't getting anything off of that. There's no punish to be had there. Yeah, no punish to be had there at all. We're going to run it back to Pokemon Stadium. I mean, this is. You know, back against the wall. You know, we. I feel like you just started the set, and it's already too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. These two, like I said, these two, are, these two are scrapping. It's just that uh, Atomic seems to be the one coming out on top on a lot of these, these, these interactions. You know, uh, whereas you know, because the grenade goes off uh, as Renegade's trying to navigate this advantage, and he's not winning. He's not breaking it, right? He's not winning, winning it back. He's just getting binked again from Atomic after the grenade. So. You know, these trades are going on where Renegade's doing 14 or, or whatever, but Atomic's doing 24. So. Exactly, exactly, for sure. That's definitely the name of the game, you know, just getting more mileage out of your hits, getting a little bit more uh, situations where you're kind of continuing your advantage state, and that's looking to be the difference maker for Atomic right now. But still kind of scrapping yet again. Oh, but the, you know, sometimes I, I love seeing these, like, you know, these F tilts, but sometimes the multi hits kind of put you sort of behind and you end up whipping and you're getting these punishes. Atomic is doing a really good job of finding those. Yeah, starting to get a little bit more aggressive in the offstage too. Doing a great job covering a lot of the options with with la laser going high, top going low. You know, making sure that Renegade has to like commit, and even when he does do that commitment, he's going to be wrong because everything's covered. Yeah, for sure. And so far, you know, we we saw a pretty good start from Renegade, and at this point, you know, it's already kind of kill percent. So you got to be careful on top barrier. You're going to mash hard enough. No, no mash, mash. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. That slight hesitation is all, all you need. Get see, get see out. Get keeps the stock alive, which is the important part. The percent doesn't matter. You're snake. You're fine. You're big. But yeah. everything else here, gotta try and close this gap. Great stuff right there. Waiting for the grenade to explode and then finding the free follow up. Right. You know, that, uh, great catch on the landing though. Oh, yeah, he went the other way on that down smash though, so he's not gonna not gonna get KO just yet. And oh. Ooh. Caught you slipping. It was there the whole time. My man's. I got hit by that. That's oh, crazy. absolutely. Yeah, I yeah, think we yeah, all got yeah, hit. Yeah. Everybody watching definitely got hit by that, including Atomic. So, right now though, it, oh, Cipher. Oh my goodness, Cipher. That, Cipher ate that whole thing for breakfast, dude. Yeah. Cipher was hungry. Mm -hmm. Cipher said, "I, I, you know, balanced breakfast." Yeah. Nice read, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Nice read. All part of a balanced breakfast. And here comes the confirms and Renegade getting a little bit of mileage right here. Yeah, great stuff. Understood that, you know, the, the grenade toss probably was going to be enough to make it there. So just hold shield and let Tommy kind of reset neutral a little bit. So still finding himself in a pretty good spot. Yeah, and, and we've seen kind of Renegade. Oh, my goodness. Jab lock. I was going to say, that's crazy. Oh, the chase coming. Yeah, he's at 203. Still living as the big boss. 
Yeah, this is the longest that he's lived, and that's proven to be the difference maker of this game three. You know, Renegade was back against the wall, down two zip, and you know this was kind of what he needed in order to start bringing the tides towards his favor. And this is definitely a start to do it right now. 212 still living. We're probably going to see the stock pretty soon, but you know, not before he's doing as much damage as humanly possible. Yeah. Finally, the nair off the top is going to kill. That's that's about a good a, a good of a stock as you can as you can make it. Even right off the Halo platform, he's ready to continue uh, this kind of oppression that he's put on Atomic this third game. Oh, and again, oh, living this time. Though. But Rob is big. Rob, Rob, Rob is, is big. big. Yeah, I think he sort of rolled and then preemptively saw right before. Oh no, I was about to say we're even. This is these are two these are two spin to win combos from from you know being a 3-0, but. Right now, Renegade looks like he's holding down the fort pretty effectively. Oh, but that single hit right there, the fastball nair. Yeah, didn't fully cross him up, so couldn't confirm into the up tilt. And the, and the gyro saving <laughs> Atomic from Certain Doom there. Yeah, absolutely. Certain Doom. But right now, this is this is pretty this is pretty close, but Renegade's a full oh, to work with. Yeah. Bob is big, and hey, you never know. It could happen know. to you. you. You are, yeah, it's a Z-catch away from uh, <laughs> an unfortunate reverse three stock. Is Z, Z-catch away from becoming a, yet another statistic. Oh, but great air dodge oh, yeah. to get away from the from the drag knot. Maybe try to get a spitz up to maybe kind of confirm the kill a little bit more. For sure. And I think I think because uh, I think out of that nair one, you can jab up tilt at this percent. But I think uh, Renegade was just a bit hesitant on that jab one. But now at 56. Oh, that's you're so good, bro. How did you know he was going there? Right. That's actually kind of nuts. I just broke the chair. <laughs> uh oh. oh did you take the you took the headset off? Yeah, I you took the headrest off. I took the headrest oh, off. Oh, it's fine. We're goodness. good. We're good. We're good, guys. <laughs> It's a strap. We're the, good. The the yeah, kid out here F -til uh, snake F tilting in real life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I like I like pulled back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what motion I can do that could kind of compare. You just do it again. <laughs> yeah, just do it again. You know? I, oh, I did it again. Oh. Game. All right, game number four now. Uh, I mean, Atomic was bringing bringing that back. Uh, Renegade felt seemed to be very comfortable once he was able to kind of establish. You know his his slower pace, his game plan. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, man, Atom Atomic was definitely cooking cooking there. We'll see if Renegade can kind of maintain the lead a bit better, close it out this time around uh, yeah. in Forza Game Five. Yeah, I think because of the frame data that Rob kind of brings to the table, Atomic wants to scrap way more, mm -hmm. just so you know he can kind of bait these grenade pulls and maybe take these trades because he's also so big that the trades don't matter as much as they would for a lighter character. But yeah, like you said, if Renegade can kind of slow the game down and just find these trades on his on his favor and find the follow-ups after, we're going to see a game five. But if Atomic can kind of reset the situation and maybe start scrapping again, then you know you will see Atomic kind of clutch this one out. Yeah, not a whole lot of da uh, damage rate right off the gate as we were kind of expecting. Uh, Renegade even quite a bit there, but even to <laughs> right back up, Grenade Backer is going to do a solid like, 28 damage. Yeah, 28 damage. I mean, this is... Damage output from both these characters is immensely high, and to no one's surprise at this point. Oh no, absolutely, right. yeah, yeah. These are these are two of the most common characters at a top level uh, for a reason, right? Yeah, absolutely. And right now, though, I'm trying to find something right here. So fear doesn't break cipher. Understandable. I, I know that. I see that now. So we we talked about a bit of an ambiguous case earlier, but now we can kind of see it. Ledge trapping, though, you got to be careful. Snake is also a really good ledge trapper too, just because of all the explosives that he has. All his specials do a really good job of kind of ledge trapping. And right now, we saw the alley-oop from the gyro potentially trying to go for the up air. Doesn't get it, though. Yeah, he was a little bit too high there. And uh, at one 130, you know, no guarantee off the down throw yet. We'll see what Renegade can kind of do. He's kind of striking underneath, trying to force that that up tilt. But it, it's unfortunately not a gar that guarantee. That Rob Nair, one of the best combatants in, uh, against an equally broken move like yes. Snake up tilt. Yeah, you saw Snake back here right there, like, beat out the startup of Rob up air. And that would have been death. So that's yeah, that's kind of thinking your lucky stars a little bit right there if you're Renegade. But right now, Atomic just trying to find this kill. Both players doing a really good job of holding on to their first stocks, but this could be it, right? Nair, we saw Nair kill off the top, so yep, yep, oh, both, you're yep, dead. Yeah, grab, both, both players were a grab away from a stock there. It's just, uh, you saw Atomic kind of fish for it there, and Renegade was able to get, get one in the end. Sl just falls out of the side B. I've never seen that move work unintentionally the way, you know? Work yeah. poorly in any situation, but and every all the all the Rob haters are cheering right yeah, now. Yeah, Rob Rob, 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 Rob propaganda furthered along by that one interaction. Yeah, but right now 227, and you see the stalls, right? 
you know, Atomic understands that he could stall and take some damage, but one, just one trade is probably going to kill Snake at this percent. So he's honestly okay with kind of just stalling the game a little bit here. Yeah, absolutely. And 247, uh, another really, really uh, high percentage stock there. Oh my god, we almost saw it. Oh, that's the transfer right there. What's going to happen? Renegade, are you going to be able to get this transfer yet again? Let it rip. Yes, I knew sir. it! I'm a prophet! I told you! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> And that, that's, that, that's like the worst kind of hot potato, right? Like, you're so terrified. You're trying to, like, preemptively air dodge so you don't get blown up. And you're trying to sprint towards the snake so you can put it back on him. It's yeah, like the sense of urgency can kind of, you know, come, you know, come, to, come to bite you in the end, right? Just because you're, you're, you're rushing so hard to try to get it, you either get blown up on a, in a burst situation or you just get hit by snake himself. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. What a good read by Atomic. The game was kind of slipping away from him for a bit there, but it was able to close out an early stock uh, a whole 150% earlier, as a matter of fact. And now we're at a, essentially an even game. Yeah, this is Rob too, so, you know, this is by by no means there's a lead, right? You saw the, oh, you saw the darkness for a second yeah, there, yeah. man. <laughs> that would have been crazy for sure. More trades, though, and honestly, I think Renegade is okay with some of these trades because you're just one up tilt away, one oh. up air away, I guess. And after going down two to zip, we're going to see a game five situation from Renegade. Yeah. Clawing his way back, fighting for a spot in the top four of this tournament. Uh, Atomic, you know, maybe not a little bit too happy, understood that he probably had, you know, a good grasp on the game. And now, you know, like your life flashes before your eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to, uh, I think Reneg Renegade is just such, uh, such, I mean, obviously, you know, being ahead is way better than being behind, but Renegade is so good at uh, at positioning and furthering his own leads that like you give him a stock like he has in game three and four, where he's living at 210 and 245. Like it's that he's so good at putting you in a rut that's going to be so difficult for you to try and climb out of. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but if anyone can climb out of it, it's going to be you know either one putting each other in a rut. Both of these players are talented enough to kind of get themselves out of those situations. Yeah, so. yeah, and you know, Atomic's been good at closing, uh, at getting those early stocks right back after that one really, really long living stock that he gives Renegade. So we'll see here. Opti opting to go to a small battlefield, a little bit of change of pace, probably maybe. We could see, uh, I, I could be calling it a little bit more aggressive on the offstage, maybe try to fish for some dares and stuff like that. Aggressive on the offstage, maybe aggressive on stage too, right? You know, again, we talked about like the scrapping from Atomic working so well the first two games. And, you know, he's slowly but surely fallen into Renegade's like, you know, tempo. And that's kind of what's been, the, you know, one of the primary causes for him, you know, dropping two games immediately after. So, right. you know, smaller stage, you know, uh, gonna be more accessible to kind of finding, you know, these kills and just like that, up smash with the magic percent, great stuff right there. Yeah, top. got 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 stuck on the backer on the platform there. It was just, just, you know, hook, line, and sinker for Atomic to close that out. And now, uh, all, you know, you don't have that snake living at 250 now anymore. Atomic's like, cool, I can play this 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 nickel and dime game from here on out until I have to. The snake has to approach me. Exactly. Like, that's so much mileage that Renegade was getting and, like, you know, seeing that completely turn around this game five and now it sort of feels like the tempo is more towards, you know, Atomic's favor, right? It's more, he's dictating the pace of the game a little bit more. But we got a dash attack right here into the Nikita. Gonna have to hit the Nikita out of the way. Great air dodge. Man, I love I love the way these top players get around Nikita because most people's recoveries are so linear. Right. And, you know, the, the way they think outside the box got to put themselves in those situations to get out of it, you know, so good, honestly. Yeah, most of us are taking that Nikita straight to the head. I, I die. Yeah, I instantly <laughs> die. Ooh. All right, good. Yeah, big big body. The F-Tilt's going to close it out there. Only 57%. Again, that's uh, child's play for, for, for Snake. That's, that's a couple grenades and an aerial away. Yeah, fifty-seven percent, definitely. But at, also at the at the edge, this is also a Z catch into the into arm rotor as well to kind of get these stocks on on Renegade and back oh, here. Oh, good oh. cat caught him pulling the grenade out of the out of, out of the cipher, and now a whole stock behind. I mean, Renegade's gonna have to start cooking up something crazy if he wants to close this fifth game out. Yeah, after taking two straight games, this is the biggest lead we've seen Atomic had this set. You know, up until uh, you know before when he was up 2-0, and now. You know, looking way more controlled. Hits him out of the Nikita. Great stuff. Going to stall a little bit just to find some footing on stage. The grenade traits, though, working out for Renegade. And Nikita, again, going to do it, but nobody home for it. Yeah, it's unfortunate there's no Nikita here. Try to get the up air again. Going to get reversed on by uh, Atomic. Going to have to up E early. No jump. And the... 
Chase is just still on, trying to find his way back down. That's a lot of percent you don't want to eat. Yeah, every hit right here on Renegade, it feels it feels like it's more and more insurmountable right now. But oh. the up tilt gonna do it, whiffing on the whiffing on the up smash, getting a little too antsy, mm -hmm. maybe seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, he's right? like, oh, this is it, this is the game, right? Yeah, you, you gotta be careful. This is Snake. You can definitely bring this back. Oh, foot. sniper! Oh, it closes it out. The American sniper right there, Atomic, after going up 2-0, oh. eats two straight games and was able to clutch it out. You know, unfortunately, again, we talked about it earlier, got upset pretty, you know, by his standards early.